In this GeoMapApp tutorial on the ocean floor drilling portal, we're going to look at the geological time scale, how to zoom in the graphing windows, and how we keep track of the depth and age within the core sections. For this example, we've selected drill hole 49-407, which is located up here in the far north Atlantic. We activate the geological time scale by clicking this yellow colored icon here in the table toolbar. In the geological timescale window, we click the zoom button here to see more detail. In the window, we see that we have the age information over on the left in millions of years. Next to that are the period, epoch, and stage boundaries. In the middle, we have the geomagnetic polarity timescale. Just right of center, we have the faunal zone boundaries for nanofossils and forams. And over on the right, we have the delta 018 curve from Zakos et al. The red horizontal line that we see as we move the cursor up and down in this geological timescale window corresponds to the age of the sediment in the core derived from the age depth model. If we have also opened a range chart window and the physical chemical parameters window, the red horizontal line tracks within each window and allows us not only to correlate between the different data sets on display, but also to see the correspondence with the internationally recognized epoch and stage boundaries and the standard chronology. Let's bring up a range chart and the physical chemical parameters window to see this tracking of the ages. So here on the left, we have the physical chemical parameters information reflecting the grain value. And on the right, we have the range chart for nanofossils. And we see as the cursor moves up and down, the red line in all three windows moves accordingly. We also note that if we change the scaling in the range chart window, by making the window shorter, the scale in the physical parameters window also changes. For example, like that. And lastly, let's look at the zooming function within the graphical windows. First, we note that in the geological timescale window, we had separate buttons for zooming in and out. In the graphing windows, we hold down the control key on the keyboard, and by clicking the cursor, we zoom in. If we hold down the control shift key and click the cursor in the window, we zoom out. Here's an example of zooming in. And we notice that as we zoomed in, the scale in the physical parameters window over here changed to reflect the new scaling. To zoom out, we use the control shift click, so we'll do that one in this window over here. Like so, and we see that the scaling in the range chart window also changed. More information on GeoMapApp can be found at www.geomapapp.org.